Hi, everybody. Welcome to the No Depression Sessions. We're here at D's during Americana Fest. Thanks to our friends at AEA Microphones with Ruthie Foster. Ruthie, thank you for joining us. Hey. All right. <laughs> Woo -hoo! All right, y'all. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, we're about to hear three of your songs. Two of them are from the current record, Mileage. One mm -hmm. of them is from the previous record, Healing Time. What do you want to do first? Uh, this one we all might know is my version of That's All Right, Mama. Arthur, big boy Crudup. That's all right, Mama. That's all right with you. That's all right, Mama. Any old way you do, that's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do, yeah. Well, Mama, she done told me, Papa done told me too. Girl, that gal you're fooling with, she ain't no good for you. That's all right, yeah. It's all right. That's all right now, Mama. Any way you do, it's all right. Dum dum dum, super duper dee bow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zam ba ba da ba dee dum. for coming here and doing this. And um, I want to know a little bit more about uh, about mileage. I know that uh, that Tyler Bryant produced it. We got to run, we crossed paths with him in Park City, Utah not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, Rebecca, his wife, was here yesterday. We got to do one, one of them uh -huh. uh, with her. And can you talk about some of the conversations that led to and informed and became the record uh, mileage? Yeah, well, it was all conversation. That album is all about sitting in their living room drinking strong coffee that Tyler makes. And uh, coming off of tours, I would come to Nashville just about every month or so and sit on their couch and talk about whatever I wanted to. And they just turned a lot of these, this conversation into titles and titles into songs. And then we went down to their basement uh, where they have a beautiful recording studio. And we managed to put these 10 songs together. And the title comes from, I was sitting sitting and talking about how I had just come from a doctor's visit and trying to talk about my, <clears throat> my mature age. And, uh, and uh, I was reminded by my doctor that, you know, she says, no, you know, it's not so much about the numbers. It's just about the miles you put on. And that's where mileage came on, came in. So yeah, we thought we'd just call it mileage because a lot of these songs, these 10 songs is pretty much the last decade of my life. I'm just talking about how I grew up and um, spending time at home with my family and my, my grandparents. I talk about them in a song called Six Mile Water. Uh, really just a little bit about everything. Having a 13-year-old girl in school and, and, and dealing with you know, what she's going through with people that she likes and that's where Rainbow came from. So yeah, it's really just about life. 
Nice. Well, thank you. I really have been enjoying the record. Uh, it's, it's a total pleasure on my side to see how you've taken your life and translate that all into song. And so thank you for doing it in a recorded way. Thank you for uh, being here at D's today doing this. And there's still two more songs coming up. Uh, what do you want to do second? Well, I talked about Rainbow, so we might as well try that one. Yeah? All right. What is love? People ask me, what is love? I just point to you. People get so hung up. I just run to you. Love is making a good life day by day by day. Love is taking our sweet time. Wishing nothing away And I've been hurt And you've been hurt We've been to the end of a rainbow That's how I know every color looks good on you And I am love And you The sun's gonna shine on through like a rainbow Like a rainbow What is love? Love is never straying You don't have to say a thing It's knowing what you're thinking Love is everything What is love? is a feeling oh it makes you want to move together in the rhythm oh together in the groove and I've been hurt and you've been hurt we've been to the end of a rainbow that's how I know The sun's gonna shine on through like a rainbow, like a rainbow. Thank you for coming and doing this. Um, this is our last day at Americana Fest, second to is last it? session. So thank you for closing us out uh, almost in style. This sounds so good. Oh, that's sweet. We, so I'm the last one. Second to last second one. Second to yeah, last Amy one. Amy Helms coming in a little bit later. But, oh, uh, tell us. Yeah. Hey. Ruthie Foster, the penultimate artist. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I know that I know Mileage is your Sun Records debut. How does that feel? How does the Sun Records family feel? And to be on a label like a bucket list label like that with so much history, it's huge. You know, um, these songs were looking for a home, and I guess they found one with Sun Sun Records. Um, I'm very proud to be a part of 
maybe lending, yeah, not maybe, lending my, my flavor to the lineage of this, uh, this really um, iconic label. And especially the women who have been a part of Sun, yeah, Sun, Re Sun Records and Sun Studios. Whoop, for the women. Yeah, I'm really, really, I'm looking forward to seeing what the record does. You guys go out and buy it, play it, come to the, the, come to the shows. Really would appreciate that. And hearing your own stories about what the songs mean to you, because that, that's really why I get out and do this. I want to hear how these songs impact people, because I know what they do for me. They keep me going. You know, that's, uh, I think some of the reason behind the format of what we're doing here is that we love music. There's no, no mistake that we do this for a living. I absolutely love being in these rooms, but also love hearing some of the stories behind it to get some, some greater insight into what you were going through that's, you know, how you digested life and put that back out as a record. I think that's really, really meaningful as well. So we really appreciate all those stories too. Yeah, you're so welcome. That, that, um, I tend to write like that now. You know, I've, I've done a lot of, and I still love doing boogie songs. I like songs that keep people on the dance floor, but I, I like really uh, getting a chance to, to give a little bit of myself and my own, my own story to, uh, to a groove. Yeah, yeah, well, you're doing great at that, and there's still one more song coming up in this No Depression session. What do you want to do last today? Well, you were talking about songs and, and sharing my, my own story. This is a song, I call this one 4 a.m., and I wrote this one when I was um, very far away from home. And, you know, as a singer-songwriter, we're always looking for that something to make you feel grounded when you're on the road. And this song came to me as, a, I guess, a songwriter's song. <laughs> It's 4 a.m. and I'm wide awake in my head Guitar, suitcase, in the middle of the bed I'm too far away to dream Not ready for the morning light It's 4 a.m. so I play away the night Somebody told me, girl, you better rest your mind You keep it running out of race, you're gonna run out of time Find yourself alone, waiting for your life to start Until it's 4 a.m. and you're playing away the dark well, I pick to a strum and I hear the drum Calling on a backbeat till it feels like I'm running And I'm a humming Tapping out a rhythm on a hotel floor Heart starts pumping till it feels a little more like flying And I
so I play away the night. 